I think what drew me to the project originally was I had a meeting with uh, Caroline and Sarah, producer and showrunner, writer. And the way that they kind of discussed it with me is, A, gay women, and, and also Greg Volante is involved, and he's a gay man. Um, and there's a, lot of, there's a lot of gay in the show already, yeah. right? And then they were kind of talking about the fact of, of normalizing it, like it not being just like this is a gay story for gay people and this is going to have like all the – it's going to touch on all the gay things um, or all the lesbian things. It was just you're not going to necessarily – sometimes when – we're looking at our representation on television, film, movies. In the past and when I was growing up, it was a lot of like high school students being like, I don't know, I think I have a crush on my best friend. And then <clears throat> they would kiss and then one would be like, oh, it's not really for me. And then the other one would be like, oh. Uh -huh. And it like just kind of like hasn't... I liked it, so... <laughs> yeah, you didn't really... And you'd always have to ha like get the beginning, middle and end and everything of a, of a relationship, whereas... You don't really have to do that with, like, heterosexual relationships. They just exist on television. You don't have to, like, know the origin of when they were born and how. And so with this, it was a lot about, like, we're talking about relationships she's had, you know, relationship with Sophie Moore, who she was in the military with, and, and the don't ask, don't tell aspects of that and what that put their relationship through. But we never, like, tell more than just it, it as any other normal couple. It's not – it's just that they're two women. So, like, I guess, yeah, if you're not – used to or you haven't been exposed to seeing two women in love, it's going to look different to a male and a female in love. But if, if that's your life and you have gay friends and family and it, it's not going to look any different. It's just going to, it's going to feel normalized. And it doesn't look any different. I mean, the chemistry between you two. I, mean, I think it looks kind of cuter. But <laughs> I was going to say the chemistry is really beautiful. And I love that Sophie in her own right is very capable. Um, oh, yeah. So the whole kind of needing to be rescued dynamic is a little different which I love seeing like yeah. just two strong women who love each other and kind of how that plays out there's a lot of strong women yeah <laughs> in this uh good and bad <laughs> there's a lot of strong women in in this show but um I think you know when people talk about it being the first ever lesbian live action comic played by an out I mean you put enough things in a row and it's like well, yeah it's going to be the first of something isn't it <laughs> um and then there's black lightning and there is um legends and and there have been other queer superhero icons that I people think that I don't realize because I don't get to write the headlines of the articles but this it is a really big deal I think that the reason I took on the project, you know, is the same reason why Caroline is involved and Sarah and Greg, is that we just wish that this existed when we were young. Yeah. And so now we get to make the show that we wish, it, you know, existed. Yeah. Except I get to be in it and it's cool. And I'm, I'm on a bus and on buildings. It's very strange. <laughs>